Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Cody Bailey. Those of you that have received some pop-up showers this afternoon and a little bit of a preview of what's to come, especially as we head into the early part of next week, where we'll just pretty much deal with consistent wave after wave of scattered showers and storms. At times, we could be looking at some strong to maybe even severe storms. Uh, right now, it looks like Tuesday, maybe even Wednesday, Thursday of next week. But we'll touch on all that here in your seven day in just a moment. Outside right now, most of us are dry, but some of you are dealing with some of those heavier downpours, mainly uh, across the uh, southern half of the tri-state. We'll put Doppler radar into motion and you can see some of those heavier cells and one pop-up shower just developing within the last uh, 15 to 20 minutes over uh, Gallatin County uh, down in southwestern, uh, the southwestern corner of the tri-state. We're still kind of seeing that boundary from southwest to northeast from basically Hopkins County all the way up to Hancock near Perry County, Indiana as well. We've seen basically the trend of these pop-up downpours will last for a little bit and then you'll see them fade away and then others will try to refire as well. We're seeing that just south of Dawson Springs in Hopkins County, now out of the Madisonville area as well, then across into McLean County, just east of uh, Calhoun, and more activity again is possible, very hit or miss, so if you have any Friday evening plans outdoors, wouldn't cancel those at all. We're going to have pr uh, plenty of dry time this evening. Same story for the weekend. If you have any outdoor activities planned or maybe want to do some yard work tomorrow or Sunday, uh, just keep an eye to the sky. We're going to have plenty of dry time for both our Saturday and our Sunday. But keep in mind, things could uh, develop pretty quickly, produce some heavy downpours and maybe even some thunder and lightning as well. We're not seeing any of that, though, in the immediate Evansville area. This is our Austin Homes Tower camera looking out from the west side, high top of the library on the campus of U.S. side. Then towards the Twin Bridges, looks like traffic is moving along just fine. It's the evening commute well underway. That's our Maldonado's Tower camera. And finally, on the Owensville Riverfront, some gloomy skies there uh, looking kind of right under that boundary that we're seeing some of those showers developing. So, uh, again, any outdoor plans this evening? Uh, wouldn't cancel those, but just keep in mind you may have to take a break or go inside briefly as those downpours move over you. But temperature-wise, mid to upper 70s. The warm spot's still in Carmi at 75, but pretty easy to see who has seen more in the way of those isolated showers developing. Again, we had a little bit of activity near Tell City, 73. Cooler down to the south across western Kentucky, Madisonville down to 73 as well. But we'll be hovering through the low 70s this evening and then through the 60s after the sun goes down later on this evening. And rain changes off and on as we go through tomorrow. Sunday then really starts to ramp up on Monday and that's going to set the stage for a pretty active work week across the tri-state. Once again, we'll have some periods of quiet lulls in between rounds of showers and storms, but rain chances do pick up as we head through most of next week. But Future Tracker keeps us quiet once the sun goes down tonight. Could see some clearing to the west of Highway 41, but most of us will stay mostly cloudy tonight and then we'll see some sun breaking out, mixing with clouds at times tomorrow and then pretty reminiscent of a summertime pattern. We'll see the heat of the day, things bubble up, some isolated showers and thunder showers, and then things fading away as we approach sundown tomorrow. So not an all-day rain, not a guaranteed rain either, but again, keep in mind, kind of the theme of the weekend is that you may have to bring any outdoor activities inside briefly and let those storms pass uh, and then return to a kind of your normal activities for both tomorrow and Sunday. Speaking of Sunday, most of the day, at least according to Future Tracker, will be dry. I think the best chance for rain will likely be late in the evening and especially overnight Sunday into the pre-dawn hours of Monday. Here we are by daybreak Monday. Showers and storms, especially down in our southern counties, uh, getting going and then things just kind of off and on from there through Monday, really Monday to Thursday of next week. Off and on widespread showers and storms, again, with lulls and dry periods in between those waves, but a pretty active stretch of weather coming for the tri-state through next week. So again, we fall through the 70s this evening, down to the low to mid 60s for tomorrow or tonight, and then tomorrow, pretty much the same as today, upper 70s, low 80s for your high temperature and then 80 to 85 through most of next week. Storm Prediction Center does have most of the tri-state Tuesday under a slight level two risk for severe storms. Weather aware tag on for Wednesday for some more showers and storms that could possibly be strong as well. And then things hopefully drying out by the second half of our Friday. But again, staying warm, highs in the 80s, lows in the 60s.